looking for. So with organic pesticide, this one you make it with the local available what materials. When you're using the organic pesticide, it will also cut the what it will cut the cost of production. Because you're not going to spend some other money in buying some other uh, pesticide. Last time we were looking at how to prepare what organic super good. Uh, as I told you, as you're growing your vegetables, there are also enemies of that vegetable or your enemy. They are called pests. So what you are producing as vegetable is a food for something. Eh? So there are those living organisms which come and feed on our plant either by sucking the gross hormone or by eating the leaves or by eating the fruits and today we are showing you how to control the infestation of pests in our vegetables using organic material <coughs> organic material means you prepare it in the absence of chemical there is no chemical component here the whole chemical will come from the solution the solution will act like chemical commercial chemical that kill the best okay so we want to know how to prepare it locally so that you are able to make sure that you control pest at a reduced cost or at no cost as you maximize profit in your production okay so the materials here we are uh, the things that we are going to use these are all available and vera from today when you go back you have to plant aloe vera red pepper you have to plant red pepper right now you are producing onions okay if the onion the real bulb is not there you can use the leaf okay onion leaves can also work well because of its fungus smell which will help some of the pests from coming yeah? Yeah. Uh, neem tree you have to plant neem tree sometimes you wonder why people plant flowers around the compound there are some flowers which for us something to beautify the home to make your compound look beautiful eh? but today is not only making your compound look beautiful it will make your garden to look beautiful because when the garden is having, having pests all over you saw from our cabbage control plant the cabbage is very happy it has a perforated leaves the leaves are eh? the, the plant looks very happy okay but we want to, to make our garden beautiful using that beautiful flower, okay? Kill youth, ripping big! Kill youth, ripping big! Siandi, Aliko! Siandi, Aliko! I'm very happy today because we are learning about how to make organic pesticides. For example, I have aloe vera here in my hand. It is used. It acts as a fertilizer because it has ingredients like magnesium, potassium, and many others. It will also it will help me control the pest like aphids and many other pests. Mm. Caterpillars, beetles, and many others. Mm. This is red pepper. I hope you feel it. One of the materials used in making our organic pesticide. In this in this pili pili, it is, when we are using in five liters of water, we take one cup of pili pili. We pound it and we put it in our container. Pilipili contains the active ingredients which helps in controlling aphids, caterpillars, ants, and also beetles. And it's called marigold. Uh, when you're using it, you get like uh, five cups of the leaves. Uh, you pound it. After pounding, you put it in your container. The marigold are, are the active ingredient that works on uh, pests like the, the caterpillars and the cutworms. So they are actually used in controlling those uh, pests in our crops. I have in my hand is one of the materials among them. And here I'm having neem leaf. It mm. works in things like control of fungal diseases, bananas, weevils. Today I'm very very happy because we are learning about how to make organic pesticides. In the hand here I have tomato leaves. When you pound it then mix it with other substances that is used in making organic pesticides and it acts as um, some, it brings some irritation in insects 
and definitely it kills the insect life. It helps in controlling pests like cutworm, caterpillars, and the rest of it. So we have many pests that destroy our crop. So this one would help a lot. My name is George. I'm very, very proud to be here in a little training institute. Here is our one of our materials for making organic pesticide. This is onion bulb. If you want to make it, you can use this one, something like seven of them. And in absence of that one, you can use the leaf, something like half of a kilo. And this onion bulb, you can take it to the mortar and then you pound it. And from there, this one, is, it acts as a repellent also. It, it controls what is so-called ant, both red ant and then, and then black ant. Not only that one, it can also control it can also control only worm and then orchids and then cut worm also. So that is all about the onion. Thank you. In case one of the material needs it will not be effective to use. Okay, thank you very much. In case of one of the materials needs, maybe you don't have the aloe vera. But you have the you have the like the, the red pepper. The red pepper can also work on apis. Aloe vera can also work on apis. So in the absence of aloe vera, you can use the what? The, the red pepper. In the absence of the red pepper, you can use the what? The aloe vera. Then even those ones. In the absence of the tomato leaf, you can use the what? The, the lean or the margarine. We're going to pound it after pounding. We water them when you keep in this container for three days. After three days, we're going to see the solution and we use it for again for spraying our crops in the garden. Again, it's first like after caterpillar, the ants, and many others. This is how you're going to pound it. If you cannot pound like this, you can chop them, eh? mm. chop them into small pieces. How you chop a green vegetable when you are preparing, eating where okay the boy, irak irak irak. They will wear for ati 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 So you make sure that the leaves are broken to leave those inner contents to be able to release their uh, substance into the water. Okay. Mm. So if you have mortar, you can pound like this. Now we add this one. It's already five, five handful of the tomato leaves, okay? We are also going to add it here, okay? Mm. Uh -huh. You add it here, and then we found what? Let us found aloe vera. Mm. Aloe vera. We can even, you can mix all this material all together and you found at once. If you have a bigger mortar, I get me that. Mm. So you can put this aloe vera. Mm. So you cut the onions, we also found all together the onion leaves, okay? So why are we using onions? It's a repellent and it also controls our feeds, okay? Yeah. Then we are going to put, we are going to also found together one cup of red pepper, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> you pound carefully. You have to be careful, otherwise, mm. so remaining two onions. Eh? Now, the process, the process of mixing all these things eh, together and then put hot water into it is to allow what is called <coughs> decoction. Decoction, it means. You have taken tea, all right. The, the tea leaves is dry, but when you put in water, after, after some time you find the color of that water has changed, okay? Mm. It means the, solu the materials, eh? the component of the tea leaves has gotten into the water and changed the color. Are you getting that? Mm. So the active ingredients in these materials will get into the water. The process of this material, this in active ingredient getting into the water is called decoction okay so the process of for us to get 
what we need to control first those active ingredients we must keep it in water for three three days okay so we are going to keep it we are going to stand it in water for three days after three days we shall see this material and then we get only the solution down there okay that solution has all the active ingredients which will kill different kind of pests so long as we apply onto, the, on, uh, onto them okay so it will give us a contact pesticide now you can see this is a mixture of onions red pepper and uh, the hmm? and aloe vera okay now uh -huh, you have to take care you have to <laughs> so you pour it here good then now you can put some water there you rinse pour water in the mortar and then you also add it here eh? so i think this one doesn't doesn't deserve only five liters this material is too much let us prepare a solution of 10 liters out of this okay eh, a solution of 10 liters so the, the only challenge with the organic materials, we do not know exactly what quantity of any active ingredient present in that solution, okay? That is the, the problem because we cannot determine, we don't have the machine to determine, to detect the amount of... Uh, Decoction or concoction, eh? <laughs> So you can see now we have put all the material together inside the container, okay? Mm -hmm. It is even starting to irritate. I, I am hearing people are coughing. Mm -hmm. It means now our pesticide has started working. Eh? Mm -hmm. It is starting to irritate your throat and some of you will start shedding tears, okay? Mm -hmm. So now this material is not is more than for five liter, okay? Mm -hmm. Let us add here 10 liter of water. It is very concentrated, okay? Mm. <coughs> mm. I told you that this is a serious organic pesticide, okay? I can see people are now coughing. It means <laughs> it means the, the, the pesticide has started working. It is so irritating. Eh? It is so irritating such that when you add onto, when you apply onto the pest, the pest will never survive, okay? Have you measured water? Mm. So we are preparing a solution of 10 liter, okay? A 10 liter solution of organic pesticide you can pour. Let's let's get up. Let's let's hurry, hurry. Come together. Eh? Okay, you form a car, form a car, eh? So we have reached the final steps. The final step of preparing our organic pesticide, okay? Uh, 